Hello lovelies, how are you? It's so great to have you here um, and a bit of a surprise, different room, different camera, um, a little bit of a different setup. Please do sound off below what you think. Um, is it okay? I'm kind of not, um, you know, figuring out what to do with all these shadows yet or anything like that. Um, I've got a makeup tutorial <laughs> that I've done in these lighting conditions as well. Um, so yeah, any input and feedback, I would absolutely love to hear it. Uh, so today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to do something that is a little bit of a request um, and we're going to dive into what goes under the tickle. So basically I just have this very, very simple um, t-shirt scarf wrapping my hair. It's not being held on by anything. It's just sort of just sitting there. Um, I've got no accessories on underneath or anything like that at this point um, because today is uh, going to be demonstrating what to do if you don't have long hair and you can't make a big bun and all that sort of stuff. So just an alternative for those of you who just don't have the same um, situation hair-wise underneath your tickle. Okay, so my absolute favourite accessory and something I just don't go without um, is the non-slip headband. I'm absolutely fascinated with the ones that are from Rapunzel. I think they look like they could be longer lasting and better quality and all that sort of stuff. Um, the one I have is just this one. Um, I've got two of these actually. I've chosen uh, the chocolate because, well, I'm a brunette and um, I just thought it would blend in the best with my hair. Um, and it comes with a Velcro tab. I don't actually ever undo this because I figure as long as it fits me, it fits me. And then when it gets a little bit loose, I can just move it a little bit over. Now I've had this one since the very almost the very beginning of my regular wrapping um, and I still haven't had to tighten it. Now the trick with these is very 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 interesting. Now maybe somebody else has a bit of a suggestion as to what other way to decide this but I have to every single time choose the side I want so typically I don't go for the stitch side I go from for the side like this and I have to kind of run my finger. So as I run my finger it feels really smooth so I know that's not the side I want so I have to flip it inside out and then that feels a bit rough. Once I know what side is the rough side, flip the whole thing out and then you can just put it on basically wherever you want the tickle to sit. So if you want it to sit right at the edge of your hairline, if you want a tickle that covers pretty much everything, a bit more forward, um, just make sure it's nice and flat. Um, and then if you want a tickle that sits further back, like a crisscross or something, a bit further back. Ta-da! So I've just rewrapped with the non-sleep headband sitting right as this crisscross kind of intersects there. Just to sort of show you where it was sitting so you get pretty far back without getting any slippage throughout the day. Um, it will move a little bit even as I'm talking I can kind of feel it moving off the base of my skull, off my occipital protuberance back there, off the nape of the neck, um, but it will stay pretty snug around the crown. Um, and in any case, even if it does move a little, it will definitely keep the tickle in place. Um, but it won't cause a headache and it won't press on anything because I don't have it too tight um, at all. The next thing I really, really enjoy um, underneath my tickles these days is these guys. <laughs> um, beautiful, velvety, very soft um, scrunchies made of the exact same fabric as the headband. But what they are really good for is if you've got short hair or if you've got not much hair, it really holds it in place. It does not move and it does not snag and it doesn't kind of make that sort of lump in your head from having a ponytail too tight too long. So typically what I'll do is I'll tie a ponytail, I've got one up there now, and I'll wrap the tail around and then I'll usually secure it, if you can see there, doo -doo -doo, I'm holding onto the clip of a flower. So if you're following along, you've got the headband, the bun with the scrunchie holding it in place. Usually I, my hair's so thin I need to wrap it around twice. And then all held in place with something like this, a little pin of some sort. If it's got something on it just for extra volume, then even better. So just to show you, that's what it's like with no extra volume. And that's what it's like with a little bit of extra volume there. Okay, whoop. So I'm just gonna get this out of my way. So like that. That's only for a little tiny little bun. Um, if I want a bigger bun, then I need to go for a bit more of a volumizer. And that's this guy. So it's a scrunchie full of little, again, velvet, sort of loops like this, and they all come together like a little curly thing. So I'm just going to remove the flower and replace it with the whole bun. So I've got my scrunchie 
on my bun. It doesn't have to be long hair. It can be short hair. It can be half up, half down. It can be a low bun. It can be a medium bun or a high bun. It doesn't really matter as long as you've got the front of your hair pulled back and underneath the band. And there we have this. So you can see how this is seen really high up. I very rarely wear it this high up. It's usually much further back, but it'll be hard to demonstrate. So there it is. The headband sits right in front of it. And then the tickle will go either over or around or whatever design we're doing on the day. Really simple. Very straightforward. This is for a very quick look. Voila. <laughs> so there we go. So that would be something if I'm in a hurry, that's probably perfect. So that is our little bit of a tutorial um, for, for what you would do underneath the tickle. So the question came from somebody that has short hair and was sort of saying, well, what do I do if I don't have hair? I don't have anything to tie up. I don't have anything for it to hold on to. Well, truth is, neither do I. If I was to rely on my tiny little thin hair um, bun that I get, it probably wouldn't hold on very much and it will probably give me a headache because it's a lot of pressure on your hair and just one little tiny elastic. So the guess the secret or the trick is little velvet items that will not only give you a nice shape and a bit of volume but it also allows you to have something to hold on to and I have tried this um, if you just have half your hair up with one of these and it holds on really well because it's all so soft and um, has a bit of sort of traction to it it will actually hold on to your tea hole and if you want volume you put on either what I um, showed you with the big poofy scrunchy um, or you can get a volumizer. All of these scrunchies um, and this uber poofy um, scrunchie and the and the non-slip headband, all of these things have come off eBay. Um, I haven't paid more than about six dollars for any one item. It is not an expensive thing. It's not a huge investment. I assume though, and I can't tell you for certain, but my assumption is that if you get something branded and um, something like from Rapunzel, uh, pop up there, link up there, um, then it might last you longer, it might not stretch as, as quickly, it's probably better made, but they will do the same thing. <laughs> so this is just a very basic wrap, the same wrap I had at the beginning of the video, but now I've got my volume underneath. Um, and I've just tucked it away a little bit, which I hadn't done before. And the reason I've done gone back to this is I actually want to show you guys a design as well today. So today was a really beautiful warm day, so I thought what a nice opportunity to wear a little bit of colour. Now, I've got orange and peach and sort of chocolatey tones on my eyes, but I've got a very fine line of purple underneath. Um, so I'm going to play on that and take advantage and use my purple scarf. Now, normally I could go straight over my scrunchie or straight over my volumizer or straight over my long sleeve headband with this, but just for you guys, I've got this underneath. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this look is I'm going to just fold it ever so slightly. Oops, like this very slippery <laughs> so I'm getting roughly this kind of amount of fabric I've come to learn that that's roughly what I'm going to need with my volumizer so I put it on just make sure that goes down to the back and meets the nape of my neck and then that comes whoops see it wasn't enough that comes a little bit forward all right I've got on this side just a little bit of fabric and on this side, the rest of the scarf. So what I want to do is I want to actually tie this at the back. Like that. I'm going to actually leave this hanging for the moment. I'm going to make sure that that tie is fairly low on my neck so it's not actually pressing on my head or anywhere. And then I take this bit and we're going to twist a little bit. Just like that. And then continue to fan out this bit. Oops. <laughs> that could be a look too. Um, I'm just going to fix this up a little until you're happy with how it's fanned over everything. And I'm going to come back and meet the knot.
and that's the look very simple very appropriate for summer this is a very thin scarf and it's not too bulky in terms of how it feels on the head it's very secure you get a lovely shape because of the volumizer um, can move it back and have it more towards the back as well it's very versatile and super duper quick and easy move it back forward <laughs> either way um, and you can get a really really effective look very very easily all right my lovies thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me i hope you're enjoying this new segment the midweek wrap up um i am very open to questions and challenges and i'm always up for doing a bit of research and playing around with your questions and your ch and whatever challenges you find with tickles um if you're someone who doesn't wrap the hair but still wants to play with scarves there are so many things that we can do there too and i do plan to explore that in further weeks as well um what it's like to have your hair out or your shaitel out and still have fun with the, some scarves and some scarf looks um we can definitely definitely dive into that um if you haven't already please go onto instagram and see some of the looks that i've had up there um there's definitely more looks there than what there are videos here and if you haven't done so already, please, please hit subscribe. And if you've liked this segment, please hit like so that I know to do this more often for you. Um, love reading your comments. It would be really lovely to see some comments as always. Um, I really enjoy reading them and it brings a big smile to my face. And wherever you are around the world, lovelies, I hope you're having an amazing day. And if you're celebrating a fantastic festive season um, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.